In many neighborhoods, playful, colorful sidewalk chalk art is a summertime staple. But in one Hayes County neighborhood, parents are finding out their kids' art isn't a game. A homeowner in the Elm Grove neighborhood was hit with a citation telling her to remove her children's chalk drawings or risk paying a pretty hefty price. The notice from the Homeowners Association prompted her friends and neighbors to contact KXAN for some answers. Tonight, KXAN's Omar Lewis did some digging to get to the bottom of this issue. There's kids out here every night playing around and riding bikes and stuff. Melissa McCrary moved into the Elm Grove neighborhood here in Buda four years ago. We like it a lot. There's a lot of kids everywhere, and which is pretty much the reason we moved here. And it's not unusual to see a group of kids like this sprawled out, letting their imaginations run wild with chalk. But I didn't know that it was really, you could really get in trouble for that. That's why she was surprised when her neighbor, Kelsey Jacku Boskis, did. Well, we just picked up the mail one day and found this notice from our homeowners association saying we're in violation. It warned her that if the chalk wasn't removed soon, she could face stint penalties, like a fine or even a lien on their home. We reached out to the HOA Alliance Association Management. They sent us a statement saying they encourage active, creative children, but rules are rules. The statement went on to say sometimes homeowners are unaware of deed restrictions. A friendly reminder was issued requesting that the homeowners please remove the sidewalk chalk when finished. We haven't allowed them to draw just because we don't want to use the water in the drought situation to wash it off every time they come out here and draw with chalk. Jacku Boskis says there's nothing specifically banning chalk in the restrictions. So I can understand them enforcing the covenants, but when that's not in there, I don't think that that's appropriate. For A group of neighbors are now organizing an event called Chalk It Up to be held this Sunday, where kids from the neighborhood will gather to decorate their sidewalks and driveways in order to send this homeowner association a message. I don't know how much the citation costs, but maybe it's worth it. Omar Lewis, KXAN News. Rules and regulations, they are all part of the package when you live in a homeowners association. So how do you protect yourself? Get involved. Most HOA meetings are poorly attended, leaving only a few people to make some big decisions. Learn before you buy. Read your HOA documents thoroughly before you buy a house or a condo. And contact lawmakers who support HOA reform. If you have a story tip for KXAN to look into, send us an email at investigates at KXAN.com or call us at 512-703-5255.